Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Prioxis, and I'm back with another video. Now, you guys see here, um, we're going against Anderson Silva, and so for entertaining purposes only and high level uh, purposes, we're going to be going with the Israel Adesanya pick. And I know a lot of you guys like it, um, me using Izzy, so this is a kickboxing match. Now, I have the advantage when it comes to the animations of my kicks my kicks come out much more cleaner than anderson silva and in this fight guys if you want to play the kickboxing game you can do that but understand this i want to tell you this now because as my experience kicking anderson silva leg and trying to get a tko finish and looking for that win type there isn't really the move can you kick anderson legs of course you can that's his weak point but i want you to understand that kicking legs and taking damage to the head isn't worth it that's the main purpose I want you guys to understand it. Kicking someone's legs but taking punches to the face isn't worth it. So just keep that in mind if you do want to go into like a low kicking uh, type of fight. But here we go. The fight starts out. He did hit him with a low kick. He threw that cross to the body there. We actually was able to lunge out of the way. And you guys can see, again, if you're playing somebody and you have no information because they aren't throwing any strikes, well, the information they're giving you is their block what are they doing with the footwork what are they doing with the block and you can see here his block is just high right his block is just high it's even showing any signs of going low with the block let's see let's see see what i mean there it goes it goes low there but it only went low because he threw a combination usually when he's just walking around you guys can see he's not blocking low right i get hit with a high kick there and i'm fine with that i'm just trying to show you guys exactly what's going on boom N not really sure what happened there Go for the low kick again. Okay. Now it's a three-round fight instead of a five. And that's fine. We're going to faint there. Now he's hitting me with a couple low kicks from far range. So what I'm going to do to try to bait out the low kick is um nice check. I'm actually going to play footsies like this. I'm going to walk in and walk out just to bait distance. Walk in, walk out, walk in, walk out. And he isn't really throwing a low kick. Okay, cool. So let's faint. He catches with the front kick, the hook, and then the uppercut. That was nice. And you can see he's giving us a bit of trouble in round one. And that's okay. Because round two, we're going to come on strong. We're going to be more aggressive. I'm just, round one, I'm using more so as a filling out process. But you don't want to do this all the time. Because when you lose round one, you never know what can happen round two. So you just want to be careful. And I'm going to go back to the footsie thing. He catches the low kick, and Anderson Silva is a very lengthy fighter, so he's able to land those from a pretty good distance, even while moving forward. Nice. So basically, this guy, right, what he's doing is he'll land a combination, and then he'll follow up and throw something else. There he goes. He, well, he lands something, and then he'll follow up and do something else. Hit him with the front kick. We go high kick. We rock him. Cross. Okay. Boom, we punish him there. We kill him with another high kick. And we're going to actually go for the finish. Only because we're punishing players, right? So, what did he do wrong there? Well, I hit him with a high kick, right? And then he allowed me to hit him with the same high kick over again. Boom, we punish him there. That's another punishment. Every punishment I do to this guy, basically when I say punishment, there's nothing he can do as far as blocking. I'm going to announce it. So, if I block like a front kick to, to my face and he's in, the, in my pocket i basically get a free uh strike on him as you see i throw the free hook there we go spinning heel kick now this dude did real good this round really good but he may have lost it due to him getting knocked down let's check the stats let's go over to the fight stats and yeah you see how even this this um fight is right now and it, it looked like honestly if you looked at this fight from the outside it's like dang he was touching me a lot with his strikes but you see here he only landed two more to me and one more significant strike and because i got the knockdown i won the round we catch him with the cross he goes to the low kick jab cross and anderson silva is a really good pick against israel adesanya with the footwork the uh the range and this guy's having problems um He's having problems with blocking uh, blocking my strikes. He, he keeps on thinking, like, after I go high, low, I'll go like this, and then I'll go high with a question mark, go high with a high kick. He keeps getting hit by it. I don't know if he's noticing that, but yeah. 
That's a punish right there. He can't block it. He can't block that. Right? There we go. That's a nice high kick. Go low kick. Faint. Push him back. Cross. Let's push him back again. Let's push him back again. And that frustrates people. We go with the high kick. We go ahead with our low kick. And I'm just uh, playing the kickboxing game. So right now, what is he doing? He's doing jab, jab, cross, right? He's going jab, jab, cross, and then he'll go into something else. So with me knowing that, what I'm going to do is make the read and adjust. We go to the body. Then we go back up top. We catch the kick. We're going to circle him on the cage. Throw whatever strikes we're going to throw. Boom. That was a punish. He could not do anything about that because he was still in animation with throwing the kick. There we go. That's a punish again. I just walked backwards like this because I figured he'd throw a strike. Um, you know, like a kick. And you can see he's being really impatient now. And this is how you break people down. I mean, the fight started off with him doing really well. But that's what you're supposed to do as a player, a martial artist. You adjust. And you can see I'm kind of... I'm kind of doing him greasy now. Yep. Boom. Another knockdown. And the fight started out so well. It started out so well for him with what he was doing. But we continued to be patient and, you know, do what we do. And was able to actually do a lot of work this round. We would deny that transition. We even got him to start shooting takedowns with Anderson Silva. So that's how you know we've done enough. He's probably going to throw a high kick. And he's trying to clinch me. Throw a front kick, push him back, jab, push kick, there we go. Nice front kick. He shoots another take, then I'm going to throw two knees to his head because I don't really care about doing body damage, and he's sleep. That's it. That is it, bro. Again, man, it's just all about making adjustments. In the first round, he did he did some real good work, man. He was low kicking me, mixing me up with the combinations, and then in round two, he just got real, real. I won't say desperate. He just overdid everything and put himself at a real big disadvantage, which resulted to the, me getting the finish here. But if he just kept it, if he kept everything cool, everything mellow like he did in round one, and just technically kickbox. He could have definitely won this fight. I mean, he would have won round one if it wasn't for that knockdown that he basically gave him, that he gave to me. And um, you you guys can also notice how I continue to point out everything that I could do to counter him. Punishment. That was a punish. That's a punish. And think about how many I'll, next fight I'll, I'll say the things that I do that uh, I could leave myself getting punished with. And I don't do many. I don't do many as far as like throwing wild strikes from afar that literally leaves you able to get punished hard it's a risk and a reward and the risk sometimes isn't really worth the reward okay but let's go ahead and jump into the next fight guys i hope you did enjoy that one i'll probably be using a boxer next it all depends whatever whatever we did do a jujitsu video yesterday so nothing wrong with doing a little boxing today okay let's move on all right guys so here we go we're gonna go with a boxer but i don't want to go with a a boxer like a uh someone that everyone knows is you know pretty op we'll go with one that's more so lower tier and um let's see i'm thinking maybe ponzinibbio ponzinibbio they got him down as kickboxer but ponzinibbio mostly box let's see looking for a boxer looking for a boxer i don't want to go robbie lawler he's very brolic um not paul felt nick diaz why not why not nick diaz he's a three and a half star fighter uh so why not go with nick diaz right why not here we go so let's think about our advantages that we have over Tony Ferguson. Boxing, the, as far as cardio, uh, I'll put them both kind of in the same realm as far as cardio. Um, but boxing is the most important thing. I really have a boxing advantage over uh, Tony Ferguson. Now, he does have the crazy strikes, but I'm telling you, man, the boxing means a lot in this fight here but i have to worry about tony ferguson elbows knees flying knees spinning elbows and stuff like that but other than that i don't have to worry too much about tony ferguson on the ground i'm nick diaz i have the same jujitsu as he does all right well i mean one's hoist gracie one's uh what is his name something what's can't think of what his name is i'm gonna get it there we go 
It's 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. I think it's like Tony something. No, his name isn't Tony. Whatever. We're not worried about who this damn Jiu-Jitsu instructor is. You guys can see he's coming forward. He's being the more aggressive fighter. He did leave himself vulnerable with that strike. Okay. Okay. Eddie Bravo. That's his name. Eddie Bravo. See, I have to sit there and consistently think about it. So this fight here, guys, you can see he's being a bit aggressive, right? And I'm just letting him be aggressive. He can do that. We're not taking much damage, right? We know Nick Diaz has a hell of a chin. He hatched him with a strike there. That's kind of a punishment. I couldn't do nothing about it. Nice flying knee. What I'm going to do, basically, guys, is I'm going to go to his body. I'm going to go to his body 100% because I know. There we go. Boom. So, basically, what he did there, right, is he threw a combination, and then he followed up with another strike after that. And he was trying to catch me basically like a turn-based, right? So, let's say it's turn-based. He went, and then he was like, okay. You think it's going to be your turn to go, and it's not. I'm going to go again, and I uh, actually waited for him to go with that second effort of strikes. And then I went ahead and went with the body uh, cross. Jab, cross, lead, hook, landed clean. Cross to the body, faint. You guys can see, oh, that's a punish. You guys see how he threw the kick. He was still in animation. Couldn't do nothing about it. Nice front kick. He goes to body round. I mean, body hook. Okay, that's fine. But you can see that this guy's, um, he's mixing up the kicks. He's not being very predictable. But he also is, uh, I feel like he also is leaving himself. I feel like he's throwing a little bit much. Five round fight, but he is Tony Ferguson. So we can definitely give him that. But we'll give it a little bit, man, as we continue to make some assessments on what he's doing. And you guys can see he just random. So I want to block. I really want to be on my P's and Q's with my block against this guy because he's throwing random strikes. Hit the hook. Okay. Cross to the body. Go back to the body. Go back to the body. I'm a boxer, man. I just want to touch. You know, Nick Diaz, you know, he's not a power puncher. So I can't try to expect to get people out of here in the first round. That isn't his style. Right? There we go. He throws a flying knee. And good round. So let's go ahead and check the stats. So round one, he threw 87, landed 28. I threw 56 and landed 24. So he threw a little bit more than me, and he only landed four more than me. And I'm okay with that. My cardio's all the way up. Um, head health is good. Body health good. We're A1. There we go. That's a punish. We check the kick. There we go. Again, like I said, when it comes to the hands, he's not hes not going to be I don't think he'll be able to beat me down with the hands. And you guys can see I'm opening it up a little bit more. But you can also see that he isn't punishing me as much as he... Oh, not punished. He's not pressuring me as much as he did in the first. That was a nice cross. And then he pushes me back. There we go. So he goes with the high kick. They go double elbows. A flying knee is coming as well. Okay. Nick Diaz has a real good one too. That's a punish right there. Nice. That's all I got. It gave him an animation. Get him out the air. He's back on the front foot. A little bit of pressure. And I'm okay with that. Him with the hook. And now, he probably expected me to counter much faster than what I did. But I gave a small delay. And then I threw my shot. Which would open up, you know, a window. He throws a switch kick. I'm okay with that. Push him back with the front kick. Boom. Boom. Up top. You guys, you see how I utilize the moving backwards uh, with the handout. And if you guys want to know how to do that, you want to hold down right bumper and right trigger on Xbox on PlayStation. That'll be R1 and R2. And you just want to walk backwards. Okay. Go up top. Go to the body. He's probably about to throw like a front kick. 
Okay? He clinches me. Again, even if he clinches me, I'm okay. I'm okay with this. If he wants to go to the ground, we can be on the ground. I'm Nick Diaz. <laughs> like, I welcome that. You know what I mean? Throw a four-piece. And one-two is going to be my best friend. I just got to be careful as far as getting hit in the pocket with his wild strikes. Other than that, we're just fine. So, I'm expecting him to throw switch kicks. And front kicks from afar. He's also throwing a couple low kicks. Okay. Let's see if we go to jab cross. There we go. That's a punish. Go to the body with a kick. Not really the best animation. But we'll take it. Okay. Go to the body. Back to the body. Throw a front kick. We tried to sidestep it, but it's all good. All right. So that was a really good round for us. And then we look at the stats. Now, I did throw a bit much. Honestly, I threw 100 strikes, which isn't, you know, a, but if you think about it, 100 strikes, but I threw a lot of jabs, a lot of crosses, lead hook to the body. I didn't throw nothing crazy. So my stamina, as you see here, it didn't take a big hit. And I also didn't throw, I let my stamina recover before I, you know, threw again. I didn't throw a lot of multiple combinations in a row. Nice. Go to the body. Go to the body. We catch a switch kick. We're going to walk him towards the cage. Throw a hook. Then we're going to mix him up a little bit. Nice flying knee. Nice. Throw a jab cross. Nice. And like I said, what we got to watch out for is the flying knees of Tony Ferguson. And just the crazy stuff that Tony throws. He's throwing a little bit of low kicks, but you can see my leg health is actually pretty fine. Throw a hook up top. Because I figured he'd block low. There we go. We make him whiff that. We're not even going to punish him. We're going to give him that false sense of, okay, he can throw that and I didn't punish him. Boom, go to the body. He gonna probably go to my body, yep. Go up top. Bink, bink, bink. Again, I'm Nick Diaz, bro. I'm Nick Diaz. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is what I do. This is what I do. He threw a kick in the pocket, we punish him. He catch with an uppercut, that was nice, really clean. Through a cross followed by jabs and a cross. I wanted to start off with the cross because it's kind of a power punch. You guys can see, man, I'm doing some real good work in this round with the boxing. Nice. Just got to be careful and not get hit with, like, flying knees, honestly. Nice front kick. Punish. Okay. Now, you guys can see how he's playing. Oh, that's a punish. He threw a kick in the pocket. Punish with a three-piece. You guys notice how his, his um, activity has went down. Go to the body. Got to be careful with flying knees. Okay. There he goes. Now, you even see he's going as far as throwing jab cross high kick, which is a combination that kind of penetrates the block, then follows up with a high kick. Okay. Go to the body. He got nice uppercut. He landed. Hit him with a three piece. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna be careful here. The round's about to end. I don't want to, you know, get hit with like a flying knee or something crazy while he's rocked. Okay. That's the end of the round. You guys can see, man, I did some good work in that round. We can check the stats very quickly. You see, I threw 92 strikes in that round, landed 32, and he threw much less than me. But again, I'm not throwing power punch. I'm not throwing crazy power punches, multiple uppercuts, and that's why my stamina is just fine right now. And on top of that, I'm Nick Diaz. Here we go. Next round.
go to the body faint to the body get them thinking high, uh, low go back to the body back to the body nice high kick okay so right now what, what I can tell is he's kind of not desperation mode there we go that was a nice work right there But right now, you can see that he's kind of throwing, you know, the high kicks. He's really looking to do some work with those. We do rock him here. And again, we're just playing a fight, slow pace. Slow pace fight. We're not a knockout artist. We're not Masvidal, you know? And even with Masvidal, you want to be careful. Go to the body. He can't trade with me. Good night. Good night, Tony. Good night, Tony. That's it. That is it, bro. Um, you know, it was a slow. I kept the fight slow pace as slow as I could. I did throw 100 strikes. It's a bit much in one round. But, hey, I was just slow, just slowly doing what I can, doing what I do, and uh, gain, taking advantage of what I'm best at, which is boxing. And Tony is not a great boxer. You know, he landed the crazy shit on me. But... I was actually able to persevere through it and actually do some work. But I want to go ahead and check the fighter stats before we do sign out here. I hope you guys did learn a thing or two from this video. Um, Again, that's what the purpose of these are. As you see, I threw 286 strikes, which isn't a lot of strikes, honestly. And I only landed 107. So the accuracy wasn't the best. But I wasn't, you know, going crazy with my strikes. But... All in all, GG's to my opponent. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this uh, video here. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, guys. Again, it really helps out the channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe up. And also, man, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my streams or any of my uploads. You guys, do me one more favor, man. Stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward, all right? Love you guys. See ya!